Howdy everyone, we are down here on South Broadway in downtown Nashville and I am going to try to find some tourists to let me take their measurements so that we can compare them to our size chart so that you guys know exactly what size to put them in a JK dress. Okay, here may be a good one coming up. Hi there guys, can Hi. I stop you guys for just two seconds? Uh, Hi, what's your name? Siobhan. Jonathan Kane. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you guys. Where are you guys from? Harrisburg. Okay, listen, um, this is what I'm doing. My name's Jonathan Kane. I'm a fashion designer. We're basically here in downtown Nashville trying to just get some measurements from everyday women, and we're going to compare your bust, waist, and hip measurement, if you'll allow us to, to our size chart and add you to our how-to size video for our retailers. We'll give you 10 bucks and a catalog and an autograph card. Would you be willing to do it? Yes. Take three minutes. Sweet. Okay. High five. Okay, so let's get started. Can okay. Yeah, go ahead and take that off. Okay. That'll be perfect. Awesome. Okay, just put your arms up like this, sweetheart. First, we're gonna start with your bust. You're gonna have great little measurements. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> We've got 33 inches. Then we're gonna go to your waist, which is the smallest part. This is your natural waist, which is gonna be pretty close to your belly button. And then that's going to be, oops. <laughs> that's gonna be 23. Okay. And then your hip measurement. Can you move your phone? That's oh, another yeah. important thing. Yep, we don't wanna. Sorry. Don't want to make your booty bigger than it is. You got a great little shape. Okay. So then 34. All right. That's it. Painless. That's it? Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. Let's Thank get you. you. Let's get your stuff. Hey there, guys. Hi. How are you guys? Can I have two seconds of your time? Sure. Okay. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley. Caitlin. Caitlin. Nice to meet you. Where are you guys from? Awesome. Listen, this is what we're doing. My name is Jonathan Kane. I'm a fashion designer. I did Project Runway a couple of times. What we're doing is we're filming a little video for our retailers so that they'll know how to size everyday women that may come into their store wanting to buy one of our dresses. Okay? okay. So all I need from you guys is your bust, waist, and hip measurement. And I'm going to give you 10 bucks, a catalog, all kinds of cool stuff. Is that cool? Will you guys be in? All right. Yeah. Bam. Hi there, guys. How are Hi, you? Good. Hi, what's your name? My name's Kylie. Nice to meet you, Kylie. I'm Jonathan Kane. What's your name, boss? James. James, nice to meet you guys. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Can I have two minutes of your time for 10 bucks? Sure. Sure. Okay, cool. So, sir, can I get your bus measurement? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so what we're doing, I'm a designer, so um, I was on Project Runway a couple of times. So what we're doing is we're in downtown Nashville trying to get local tourists, um, real women just walking the streets, um, to let us take their bust, waist, and hip measurements so that we can compare it to our size chart so that our retailers know how to size in our dresses. Are you down for 10 bucks? Sure. All right, sweet. Let's do it. Got your Starbucks? It'll at least buy you some more Starbucks. Hold your Starbucks. Yeah. Okay. 35 and a half. What's going on, ladies? You guys were... Measure. You. I'll measure you. Okay. My gosh. We're taking, we're taking bust, waist, and hip measurements. 29. And then 39 and a half. Boom. Awesome. You have great measurements, honey. Let me get y'all money. Only if she's half three, so your girlfriend rolls on high. There's your $10. Thank you. And I'm going to get you some other stuff. Boom. Thank you. All right. If you can just sign our release right there. Just saying we can use your image. You guys were in the big limo there. thing, yeah. weren't you? Partying it up. Yeah. So what Boom. Do you do? What are you doing? I'm a fashion designer, and we are taking um, taking measurements so that um, our retailers can know. Yeah, our yeah. retailers can know how to little, size. Yeah. It's story of my life, girl. Uh, so that our retailers know how to size 
everyday women for our dress collection. Can I get size? Yeah, I mean, do we do we have more? Do we we, we can do a, it? Autograph. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll get your size. Yeah. So we're back here at the Jonathan Kane studio and I wanted to go through each of our girls' measurements and compare it with our size chart so you'll know exactly what size I would put each of the girls in. All right, moving right along with our first girl, we had Siobhan. Her measurements were 33 bust, 23 waist, and a 34 hip. Now, for her 33 inch bust, that's gonna put her in a size four, just starting with that measurement. But then if you look at her waist and her hip measurement, she's actually going to be more in line with a size zero. So what I would suggest, take into consideration, is the dress she's choosing stretchy or a lace up back. If it is, then I would put her in a size zero because those two design details are going to allow for a little bit more room in the bust. If it has no stretch and it's a medium or higher back, then absolutely you're gonna wanna get her the size four to accommodate her bust and then take up the waist and the hip. Moving right along, let's talk about Ashley. Her measurements were 35 for the bust, 28 for the waist, and 39 for the hips. Now, what's interesting about that is she really is right in between a size 8 or 10. I would see her as, uh, since her bust was 35 uh, inches and her waist was 28 inches, that's why I'm saying she's right in between an 8 and a 10. I would personally put her in a size 8 and then just tell your customer that the dress is going to be a little bit more fitted in the waist and show off your, um, your beautiful curves and give you that Marilyn Monroe silhouette. Next up, we have Caitlin. Her bust measurement was 38, waist 31 and a half, and hip 41. Now, that, that would put Caitlin pretty much right at a size 14. It's going to give her about half an inch extra room in the bust, and it's going to pull in her waist once again um, since she's actually one inch larger in the waist. And then in the hip measurement, it's going to be just a little bit bigger anyway. So I would definitely put Caitlin in a size 14. Next up, we have Kylie. Her measurements were 35 and a half for the bust, 29 for the waist, and 39 and a half for the hips. Now, that's pretty much going to make Kylie a size 10. And once again, uh, I would put her in that size 10 because her bust will fit beautifully into a size 10. And uh, once again, the waist measurement will be just a little bit tight. Um, if you have like one inch of wiggle room, then usually that's going to allow the dress to just fit really, really nice, especially if it's a strapless dress. You're going to want it to be really fitted at the waist anyway so that they're not pulling up on the top of the dress um, all night long when they wear it. Lastly, we have Margaret. Her bust measurement was 37 and a half, her waist was 31, and her hips were a 40. So looking at our size chart, I would comfortably put her in a size 14. Now, the reason why I would do that is because of her bust and her hip measurement both being half an inch larger. Um, than the size 12. So it's always better to get it just a little bit bigger and then you can always alter it to fit perfectly. So that pretty much concludes our measurements and um, I hope you got a lot of value of how to size your customers. Um, and just keep in mind, we're always here for you. If you have any questions about a certain dress, which size is going to be best, feel free to give us a call, but always take into effect um, or into account the stretchability of the dress and the fabric, as well as if it's a low back, if it has a lace-up back, all of those things are going to determine how the dress will fit. And uh, But this should definitely give you a little bit more insight on how to size our dresses.